From your startup screen, click on Open, browse to the Chapter 16 folder, and open the file Chapter 16 Schedules for Data Filtering. In the Project Browser, scroll down until you find the Mechanical Equipment Schedule. Mechanical equipment is probably one of the hardest things to separate in a schedule. In this exercise, we're going to go through a few very easy steps to create a robust filter that will handle the majority of cases in your project. As you can see in here, we've got all different types of mechanical equipment. We have water source heat pumps, air handling units, cooling towers, water heaters, and fans. And there are a variety of methods to be able to filter the mechanical equipment, but it doesn't always work the way you expect. Take, for example, the air handling unit. We could want to filter by the family and type, but we're unable to. There are limits to what you can and cannot use in the filter. So here we're going to create our own filter and apply some data to the existing families. This may seem like a large task, especially on a big project. Even on this small project with only a few pieces of mechanical equipment, it could take us some time. So what I want to also explore is filtering so that we can manage this data. So before I even start in the schedule, let's go to the Manage tab and click on Shared Parameters. Now shared parameters do require some careful administration. You should have at least one shared parameter file that is a standard for your company. And as long as somebody's managing it, you could also have a shared parameter file for the project you're working on. So what I want to do here is create a shared parameter file. I'm going to browse to my project folder and create Chapter 16 Shared Parameters and click on Save. I now need to create a group. Let's call it HVAC. And under this group, I'm going to create a new parameter and call it Equipment Type. I want to be very careful here that I create it as text rather than letting the default length go, as I cannot come back and change this afterwards. Click on OK and click on OK. Now I need to introduce that shared parameter into my project file. I can now go back to the Manage tab, click on Project Parameters, and add my shared parameter. Let's select it from the list, Equipment Type. Notice how the Equipment Type parameter data is not available to change. The one thing I do want to change is that it's going to be a type parameter. And we're going to assign that to Mechanical Equipment and click on OK. Click on OK again, and I'm now going to add that field to my schedule. Click on Equipment Type, add it to the list, and in this instance, I'll move it up to the top of the list. Click on OK. This has now added Equipment Type to my schedule, and I can start populating this with some data. For the heat pumps, let's type in WSHP and press Enter. This now gives me a message saying that the change will be applied to all elements of type WHSP horizontal high efficiency 7 to 18 kilowatt. Click on OK. As you can see, there are now several instances where the heat pumps have that data assigned to them. I'm going to go through that again. This time I don't even have to type in because the data is already there. We'll get that same message. And I can just repeat this through the rest of the project. Until I get to the next piece of equipment, the air handling unit, and we want to change that. We've now got two items in our list. Scroll down in the list and carry on. For the fan, let's type in fan, cooling tower, and water heater. I can now use this as a filter to display only the equipment that I want to see in the schedule. 
So let's select the schedule in the project browser, right click and duplicate. I'm going to rename this as my heat pump schedule. And from the properties palette, click on filter, filter by equipment type, and we'll say that equals WSHP. Click on OK. And this now filters out everything except the heat pumps. We now no longer need to see the equipment type field so we can hide it. 